Hello everyone, welcome to the Ferrano Fashion Show where I get to give you my thoughts on how good your fashion is. Today's video is going to be a short one, it's just going to be an introduction to the series and explain how the series is going to move forward. If you would like to be part of the next Ferrano Fashion Show, please send me your fashion on any of my social media platforms. Before we continue, I want to give a big thanks to Raven Knight for allowing me to use his Discord server for you guys to send me your fashion. I just want to mention that if I say anything bad about your fashion, that's just my personal opinion. Unless if you send me any fashion to do with pirate, then it's going to be bad no matter what. Taking a look at our first piece of fashion coming in from Matt, he's recreated an Aztec cultist or a protector of the great skull rack keeping up with the new season. He's also given us some background information where Aztecs would store and stack skulls of important sacrifices on these great racks that could go up to 650 skulls on a platform. I guess it explains now why the predators kept coming to earth and collecting our skulls. They were jealous that we kept getting more than they did. Historically I based him off the Otomi warriors, one of the highest rank warriors of the Aztec people, who would use green cotton armor and would be used as mercenaries throughout the empire. Taking a look at the Yorm design, I think you've done an amazing job at making an Aztec warrior. I really like the different shades of green being dark green and light green, as well as the use of the event themed weapon to bring it together, as well as the armor being, I think, Jaguar print as well. Another interesting detail about this design is the ornament. It is an ornament I don't see many people use. Green and gold really suit with the rest of your look as well as the giant skull in the middle that you can't miss. You've done an amazing job with the design of your character and I never would have expected that you could make an Aztec themed warrior with Yorm. Our next look coming in from Geist Dragon, I think. I really don't know how to say your name. Apologies if I screwed it up. Let's take a look at their fashion. Oh wait, that's me, the best character from the campaign. They've given this look the name Fujikyo Reforged. Now the things that are different about this look are the armor and the color. Everything else is the same. Overall, for a redesign of Fujikyo, I think it does its job and it's pretty serviceable at that. I would make some changes and some recommendations though. For me personally, the armor gives off more of a demonic type of feel to it. To really utilize the armor's theme, I'd recommend using Father of Understanding color palette. It's a really dark red and it brings out a lot of the more black into the look. Now the positive thing to it and the negative thing to it is the symbol color being brown. It's very hard to see some of the symbols, but the positive side of that, it really brings out the brown in your arms matching with the symbols. Another thing to change would definitely be the weapon. Now I've kept the guard the same and I've changed the handle and the blade. I've kept the general design of Fujikyo's blade the same except changed the theme to more of a darker feel. <laughs> Before we move on to the next segment, I need to explain something that's really important. Now, I want to do two types of fashion series and talk about how to improve or how well you did. One, where I rank all of your guys' fashion and maybe set a theme. The other series is a series that I have the chance to recreate either historical figures, video game characters, maybe characters from movies, or anything else on that nature that you guys suggest. For example, you suggest me to make Takeda Shingen, and I'll do my best to accurately create them in For Honor. Well, well, that concludes the fashion show because I don't have that much fashion to talk about. We can't end the video like that, so I'll do a how to make in this video, but it's only happening once. Now moving on to how to create. Now Bismantine Husky has asked me to create a Takagawa Kyoshin. All your needs will be met. I'm hungry! In a minute! I've made a couple looks from different alliances and branches of Takagawa, so I hope you enjoy them. Now I haven't changed the weapon for any of these looks due to me not having any steel, and YouTube doesn't give me any money so I can't buy steel, but I would highly recommend using the Celeste Guard due to it having a Takagawa symbol on it. My first design was based off Naomasa, who was one of the four guardians of Takagawa, who had become famous for wearing blood red armor in battle, earning themselves the nickname the Red Devils. With this look I just made it more red and gave them the Takagawa symbol and I played on the idea of that their nicknames were the Red Devils and giving this look a more of a devil mask. Now this armor is a variant of the red one in more traditional Takagawa colors and with a bit more detail added onto it.
The second look I based it off the opening cinematic of Total War Shogun 2, as well as some traditional Japanese paintings of the Takagawa clan in Kimono. Shameful display! Shameful display! As for the variant, I just made it more black and yellow and added some further details to it. My last design is based off a Takagawa branch in the Boshin War. The Wakayama clan dominion was drawn from the Kyushu Takagawa clan, one of the three branches of the Takagawa clan. The dominion was founded by Takagawa Yoyobu, the 10th son of the shogun Takagawa Iyasu. <laughs> I am sorry everyone that this video was a bit messy, but hopefully the next two videos that in this series will be a lot more better done and more professionally. So please don't forget to send me your recommendations on who to try and recreate next, as well as your fashion. With that out of the way, I'll see you next time and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does help out my castle. See you next time.